Still in the news, federal lawmakers in the Green Chamber have criticized the proposed $57 per barrel benchmark by the federal government in the 2022 budget estimate submitted to the National Assembly. The lawmakers made this observation while debating the general principles of the estimate submitted by the president to both chambers for consideration and approval. Emmanuel Lehigene completes this report. As it is customary, the House of Representatives began debate on the proposal, just like its Senate counterpart. The lawmakers took turn to praise aspects considered on point with current economic realities, but however took a swipe at the aspects they are not comfortable with. Leading the debate is the leader of the House, Honorable Al Hassan Dogua. The issue of agriculture, which is one of the major and key cardinal principles of this administration, Mr. Speaker, has also taken chunks of these resources to be invested in the 2022 appropriation bill. As usual, Mr. Speaker, I would like to urge my honorable members, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, who do reserve the single right, only right, to pass this budget. But because what we have on the floor of the House is just a recommendation, what do you call it? It's an estimate. The line of the debate was supported by some lawmakers whose only concern was the benchmark of $57 benchmark adopted by the presidency. The benchmark of $57 per barrel. If you look at the world market today, it's above $80. So I think this is a bit low. If we can look at it, not to be too ambitious also, maybe we take it above $60 per barrel. The primacy of governance is to guarantee the life and security of its citizens. And any government that fails or neglects to do that primary function has lost its mandate to the people. And against this backdrop, a lot of resources is deployed to the issue of defense and internal security to take care of the primary responsibility of uh, governance. Some lawmakers were not totally in agreement with certain aspects of the budget proposal. They suggested areas of great interest which have direct impact on the lives of Nigerians as well as on the economy. Well, let me say that power has been privatized. The only aspect that is not privatized is the transmission. So we should now look at how to straighten this transmission sector of the economy so that when power is generated, that transmission should be able to evacuate it for the betterment of our people so that there can be stable electricity. One of them, Mr. Speaker, is the provision of about 50 billion for hazard allowance for medical personnel, Mr. Speaker. The Speaker will recall that uh, as part of the uh, issues that led the medical personnel to go on strike is the hazard allowance which were not paid, and then even as of now, those hazard allowance are quite very minimal, Mr. Speaker. We commend this effort of the federal government to capture this. I believe that this will stem the tide of industrial action in the health sector in 2022. Other areas the lawmakers want the government to give attention to are education, infrastructure, security, and also the need to hold revenue-generating MDAs accountable. They say if this is done, leakages of phones will be blocked, borrowing reduced, and this will help the federal government look inwards to finance in the 2022 as well as future budgets. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.